How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Sigmas and Gamers, and today it looks like the <clears throat> Xbox CEO, Phil Spencer, has had a recent interview with, with the Washington Post talking about the recent acquisition of Activision and Blizzard, and then in this interview, he actually talks about the, the ideas of him actually reviving old IPs, he's our runner Activision, while at the same time, I'm keeping most of these other exist existing IPs like Call of Duty to be not not exclusive if it actually wants them to be on other platforms as well in this article. So I gotta say, this sounds really good news and without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this interview, shall we? And then it actually starts off saying that <clears throat> with the 68.7 billion acquisition of Mammoth in Battle video game publisher Activision Blizzard, Microsoft will be taking on, on a lot. And it will be absorbing a company criticized by oh it will be absorbing a company criticized by its employees for its workplace culture one that is embroiled in lawsuits alleging gender-based discrimination and yada 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 microsoft will also be taking on game development studios that have inched closer to union unionization over the past several months but it will also be adding an element that newly minted ceo of microsoft gaming phil spencer sees as core to Microsoft's strategy for consumer acquisition, <clears throat> a slew of video games, and long abandoned franchises. And I gotta say, <laughs> this sounds pretty exciting. And and I, I don't know. So, so I asked about the workplace's complaints faced by Activision Blizzard. In, in a 10 minute interview with the Washington Post on Wednesday, Spencer said in quotes, I believe the leaders there believe in the opportunity they have in their plan. Nothing is comp, not, noting his confidence as the issues will be resolved <clears throat> and addressing the potential of bringing in on unionized workers he said his company will aim to empower its new employees to in quotes do their best work and i gotta say i love the, love that sense of integrity that phil, that phil spencer is pro, pro, uh, promoting right there <laughs> man i can't talk today man my mouth's so dry <laughs> so the games created by activision blizzard or its developers provide the centerpiece of microsoft's strategic thinking around the acquisition the titles are some of the most popular in the world, and those Activision Blizzard properties extend well beyond Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Candy Crush. And in discussing some of the intellectual properties owned by Activision Blizzard, Spencer's excitement may have mirrored the enthusiasm of a StarCraft player noting, noticing in the long doormat franchise's logo in Microsoft's acquisition announcement. So, then Spencer continues saying, I was looking at the IP list, I mean, let's go, shall we? <laughs> King Quest, Guitar Hero, ah, Guitar Hero. <laughs> now that's the name of a franchise I haven't heard about in a long time, and <laughs> so I should know oh this, but I think they got he Exen. I don't know what that is. <laughs> he Exen, indeed, an Activision Bl Blizzard property, is a cold hit first-person game about using magic spells. Microsoft's pending acquisition of Activision Blizzard also means owning the rights to many creations from gaming to pass, including Crash Bandicoot. The original Sony PlayStation mascot, well, which is also the original well, PlayStation mascot back in the day. So there's also the influential and popular Tony Hawk skateboard series and beloved characters like Spyro the Dragon. I gotta say, Spyro the Dragon, that's like another franchise we haven't seen in a long time. Besides like the recent remakes, uh, well basically the recent remasters of, of the original Spyro trilogy that came out about a few years ago. <clears throat> so Toys for Bob, one of the studios working under the Activision Blizzard banner, successfully launched games like Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, but it was later folded into supporting Call of Duty games. Spencer said the Xbox team will talk with developers about working on a variety of franchises from the Activision Blizzard vault vaults. We are hoping that we will be able to work with them when, he, when the deal closes to make sure we have the resources work on the franchises that I love from my childhood and that the teams really want to want to get, as Phil Spencer said. Then he continues saying that, I'm looking forward to these conversations. I really think it's about adding resources and increasing capability. The 68.7 billion acquisition is an attempt to showcase Microsoft as distinguished in the global gaming space. Ace, <clears throat> this move is made in amid tech giants like Apple, Google, Meta, Netflix, and Tencent in China in encroaching into the gaming space with various projects and investments. Spencer said he is concerned about the tech, about tech companies unfamiliar with the gaming industry bargaining into the space as opposed to the current experience competition against Nintendo and Sony. Like I say, I would be concerned as well. 
Then he continued saying that had they they have a long history in video games, he said. Nintendo is not is not going to do anything that damages gaming in the long run because that's the business they're in. Sony is the same, and I trust them. Valve is the same way. When we look at the other big tech comp tech competitors for Microsoft, Google has search search in Chrome, Amazon has shopping, Facebook has social, and all these large scale consumer businesses. The discussion we have internally, where those things are important to those those other tech companies for how many consumers they reach. Gaming can be that for us. I think we have a very unique point of view, which is not about how everything has to run on a single device or a platform. That's been the real <clears throat> that's been the real turning point for us looking at the gaming as a consumer opportunity that could have similar impact on Microsoft that some of those other scale consumer businesses do for other big tech competitor tech competitors. And it's been great to see the support we have we have had from the company and the and the board. So on Thursday afternoon, Spencer posted on Twitter that he had spoken with leaders at Sony and Microsoft intend to honor all Activision Blizzard agreements and to put those games like Call of Duty on PlayStation consoles should be should the acquisition be approved. And I gotta say, <laughs> let's just go ahead and look into that. <clears throat> that shall we just So this is what like you know Phil Spencer has tweeted recently, you know, on the twentieth of January, and this he says had good calls this week with leaders at Sony. I confirmed that our intent and to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of Activision Blizzard <clears throat> and our desire to keep Call of Duty on the PlayStation. And I gotta say, <laughs> that kind of debugs my hypothesis that I've said in, my, in one of my previous videos ever since as the acquisition started. And and just like, you know, such as like, oh, it looks like Call of Duty is going to be exclusive with Xbox, so that means we're probably not going to play Call of Duty on PlayStation and Switch. But I gotta say, just hearing that, I gotta say, this does actually debug my hypothesis and therefore I can rest my case on this. <laughs> so Sony is an important part of our industry and we value our relationship. I gotta say, always good to have that competition going and just keep it going and don't try to crush it so that way it'll be fair to both, to both the biz business and the consumers as well. So hey, hey, that's like one of the best things about being in the free market right there. Just gotta have competition and that's a way to motivate you to constantly improve your products so that way it could be good for both the business and the consumers. So moving back to the article, Spencer has also been in key in informing and charting the company's path forward or to <coughs> path, <coughs> path toward or the metaverse, the still theoretical evolution of the internet, the metaverse or, uh, the metaverse concept has been explored or for decades within the video game industry. But Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg's vision of a viral reality-driven metaverse has driven conversation since he announced his company's name change last year on Meta. Well, last year to Meta. <laughs> so Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella publicly invoked the metaverse before even Zuckerberg did when he spoke to of Microsoft's possible role in creating an enterprise metaverse in May 2021. Done. Nadella gained mentioned the metaverse in the acquisition announcement Tuesday. Spencer cautioned against the work against a workspace only vision for the metaverse. <clears throat> I've really been advocating internally in the company that gaming will be either <clears throat> will be a catalyst for us, and I can see how <clears throat> some of that functionality moving into enterprise scenarios and workplace scenarios can be beneficial. But I do not think anybody should pretend that all this stuff isn't being rewritten. And I had a meeting today with the Elder Scrolls Online team that we did our <clears throat> our leadership team meeting in game. That's as much as that's much of a Zoom call as anything else. <clears throat> Activision Blizzard makes World of Warcraft, which has attracted for more than 116 million active players who sign up through its Battle.net digital distribution service. <clears throat> the online RPG players are an audience prime for metaverse-like experiences. Spencer believes. For us, a platform company that we have been doing with, with Xbox and Windows for years is as is how do players seamlessly move between these different worlds and they can have different identities and different clean uh, different clans and groups, but they also still feel anchored into the overall platform experience. Spencer said the Activision Blizzard acquisition process began towards the end of 2021. And, <clears throat> and part of the process included Microsoft absorbing the many reported challenges Activision Blizzard has faced over the past year including the lawsuits, alleging char charges of uh, yada yada, yada yada, as well as nascent 
in an effort to unionize eyes by companies workers we spent the time with activision team looking at incidents looking at employee e polls and then had the good discussion with them about their plan but the progress they had been making and what their plan was as spencer said adding that during the lengthy regulatory process microsoft would have have no involvement with activision's legal woes <clears throat> then he continued saying that we had to look that well we had to look that at that for plan and ensure we had a kind of confidence in that microsoft employees like those at most big tech companies are not unionized i was wouldn't ask about how this company feels about unions but spencer said in quotes i'm going to be honest i do not have a lot of personal experience with unions i've been at microsoft for 33 uh, 33 years so I'm not going to try to come across an expert on this, but I'll say we will have, uh, we will be having conversations about what empowers them to do their best work, which as you can imagine in a creative industry is the most important thing to us. So I gotta say, that's, that's the article right there. And from what I got for this interview from Phil Spencer, it looks like this acquisition could actually be in good hands. Like at first, whenever we first heard about it earlier this week to where where we heard about Microsoft buying Activision. A lot of people were kind of a little up in the air about it, saying like whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I gotta say, based on this recent interview with Phil Spencer, all I can say is that that, that a lot there looks like we're gonna have a lot of good things, especially like having an old IPs come come back, making a comeback, back especially like with, with Guitar Hero and possibly Rock Band, <laughs> which I gotta say, hey, those games, I remember I used to play them a lot every time when I used to hang out with my friends back in junior in high school we used to like you know uh crash over each other's houses and then play some guitar hero rock band and and i gotta say those are like one of the best memories i had at back in the day just back in the seventh generation of gaming in whenever the xbox 360 was around and <laughs> and i gotta say just like and also the fact that they also acknowledge all the controversy that's been going on with activision with in terms of all the the negative allegations that's been going around and i gotta say like the fact that they're acknowledging this is in doing what they can to actually fix this. It looks like this is actually going to make Activision in a much better company compared to how they were in recent years, especially <laughs> like in terms of like constantly pumping out a new Call of Duty every year, which uh, which is more likely going to still happen at some point. But hopefully, maybe they might it might actually change at some point once the acquisition is completed. And so, what else I'm going to say? So, hmm. And so yeah, therefore we're going to have like in have old IPs like making a comeback that we haven't probably seen in, in years and maybe even decades and and just I gotta say I cannot wait to see how this is all gonna unfold old and just see how this is all gonna play out and and once we get some new new stuff got some new information about this about all this stuff then and I will definitely go ahead and try to cover this on the channel and can't wait to see how this is all gonna play out and so therefore this is going to be it for today's video. If you found it to be very informative and helpful, then be sure to drop a like as always. And subscribe for more content like this because it does help the channel out a lot. Uh, and hit the bell to notify when my next video is going to drop. And if you have your own thoughts or opinions based on this recent interview that Phil Spencer had, then go ahead and sign off in the comment section below and get a discussion going. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, we will catch you all in the next one.